Hello, what's up my gravy babies and welcome to Does this does this game not have music? Oh Play a new game. Uh, let's see, standard. Oh, the gladiator will not die. And the champion. And there's Iron Man mode and no manual combat. Okay, let me turn down the music a bit, actually. There. Okay, we'll just do standard difficulty and regular mode. <clears throat> Type your name here. Rubbish. Am I... Am I the leader? Is, it, is this my guy who's like the gladiator pimp or, or what? Ah oh, yes. Oh. Yes, me very old man. With green eyes, yes. There's no additional slaves, I guess. Body detail. The giant. The giant head. Big muscles. Ah, but I'm fat as hell. Yes. Big hands, cause I got a big cack. Big breasts, cause I'm a woman too. Oh yeah. <laughs> no butt though. Now he can look like me. This man is an absolute chad. Ah, oh, this music's a lot louder than the other music. Make your music the same volume, please, God. Ah. Uh, my poor voice is probably being overrun right now. <laughs> my guy does look pretty good, you have to admit. Oh. Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he actually looks so cute. And that's his portrait. 300 years ago, Ow. the ancient Tali Empire fell apart in an unprecedented disaster <clears throat> called the Great Decadence. Its land was divided into several kingdoms and its many slaves and gladiators were either liberated or exiled. Those grandiose arenas of which the Talian people were once so proud are now all but abandoned or destroyed. Only a small part of this ancient recreation survived, lingering in a brutal land full of chaos and disorder called the Freelands. In the depths of the underground, among its abandoned ruins, ten arenas remain and persevere in this gory sport. For many generations, your family has presided over the oldest of these, the Blackthorn Arena. While under your grandfather's rule, the arena's fame reached its zenith, as did your family's wealth. Then, it fell under the care of your father, 
he proved to be unfit, and the Blackthorn Arena's reputation and popularity declined irreversibly. To save the crumbling family business, your father did something shameful, dishonest, and unacceptable to his peers, which is using the forbidden art of magic in the games. His trick was discovered, and he was killed by assassins from other arenas. After your father's death, an enemy took over the Blackthorn Arena, driving you and your mother out of your home. Ten years later, you've returned under the guise of a nameless merchant. The only possession you have is a bag of coins. The past ten years have seen you sacrifice everything you've earned to restore your family's arena. Upon your return, an aged loyal servant of your family recognized you. He swears to help you reclaim your family's glory. Two days later, under his arrangement, you enrolled in a small match in a nameless arena with only two untrained gladiators. And this, this is where your road to restoration begins. I didn't know this came out of story. I'll be honest with you, I, I had no idea. To be honest, that was a pretty good intro. I liked it. <clears throat> I uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed it. She did a good job at saying words. Of course, it'd be better with me. Pay me to say all your words. Who would not want to listen to this monotone voice? You know, monotone voice, words, loading screen, loading screen of hell. This is gonna be a long ass screen, isn't it? <clears throat> and I'm gonna run a hard drive to space this right. Someone send me like a ten terabyte hard drive, please and thank you. Um, thank you, my friends, for joining me in the my humble arena today, especially those of you who have traveled a great distance to be here. Today I'm proud to present some new faces, but before the game begins, let me introduce you to Master Rubbish, the man who recently bought the Blackthorn Arena. Yes, the legendary Blackthorn Arena is back in business and ready for new glory. Oh, even my guy would. To be fair, I will send it to Novice Gladiators. And now let's welcome the gladiators from the Blackthorn Arena. I thought that was a lightsaber from Helmet. Who will leave the arena today alive today? It's time to find out. Um, left click on the ground to move or press WSD to move your camera or move the character in the follow camera mode. Press the keyboard space or click the icon to resume the game. You can buzz the game at any time. The pause date can issue commands. Um, did I accidentally cancel the tutorial? Um, Finnick. He has a bow. These guys are both melee. Um, is there a way to make this faster? Um, yeah, pause it. Battle begin. Um, painting speed. Rotate speed. That's fine. Oh, I can check and check their stuff. I'll attack them and you attack them. <laughs> Which I can do. You need to a 
attack him. Even if you're gonna get injured, you should still be able to fuck him up. Get him! Get him, Carlson! Yes! Get him! There we go. The gladiators of Blackthorn Arena are victorious. Not bad for our young master. Now the winner must decide the loser's fate. Everyone sing thumbs down. Um, die. No, my child. Yeah. Yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> then it looks hilarious. Hold on, why is oh, there not two kills? That's weird. Damage taken. Phoenix almost leveled up. At least Carlos managed to level up. And then we'll get into the actual management part of the game. You know, this is, this is already cooler than I expected. See, some people didn't like that it was not turn based, and I don't know what's wrong with people. I hate turn-based games. Like, honestly, turn-based games I avoid. Like, there's very few that I enjoy ever. Well done, Master. I was right. You are a worthy heir to the glory of your house, but this is only the beginning. To restore the reputation that your family once enjoyed, you still have much work to do. The sad truth is the large arena still refused to allow gladiators from the Black Horn Arena to compete in their games. That ruling is the legacy of your father's shameful deed. You will need to prove your honor and worthiness first in the small arenas. Right now, establishing your influence is the most urgent priority. Oh, and making money, that's important as well. You can't run an arena without it. The sad truth is the large arena is still... Oh, um... How do I improve my influence? With everyone, your influence increases in the eyes of your fellow masters. The stronger your adversaries, the more impressive the victory. Also, and this is important, when you defeat your opponents or are about to decide whether they live or die, you must read the, move of the mood of the spectators of the audience, comply with their desires, give them what they want, and they will love you more. How do I make some money? For now, only through games. Every game has its prize. Sometimes the victors are awarded trophies. You can always sell the ones you don't need in the markets. Why can't I just ho It won't work, Master. The Masters of the Freelands refuse to allow Blackthorn Arena to host games. Again, this is the result of your father's actions. Even if you don't have to comply there with their orders under your new identity, I doubt right now that anyone would attend a game at Blackthorn. As I suggest, the establishing your reputation must be your primary concern. Alright, that's all I wanted to know. One more thing, Master. I suggest you go to one of the markets to buy some new slaves. Your gladiators will get injured in the match, and while they are recovering, you need to have other gladiators available, and it's better to buy some new weapons and armor for your gladiators. One more thing. Yeah, okay, I see now. Be gone, I will summon you when I need you. A hey, Master. This is the living arena where you can manage and train your gladiators. You can check your current date, property, daily expenses, and influence here. Um, here are the switches for Gladiator, Leaderboard, Event, Inventory, Messages, Leaderboard, Slave List, Read Info. Um, here's the scene switching menu. Different scenes have their own functions. This is to open the system menu. Uh, set up the competition. Ah, so set your own. Click this button to open the area map and view the entire arena on the map. You can set your gladiator team to participate in the game with their hordes. Click the button to open the black market interface. They sell slaves and equipment with which ought. Okay, no, wrong word. Which automatically respond to items that are killing in the walls. I think that's the wrong way. Click this button to end the day. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'll be right back because I have to take a shit, my friends. And we're back, guys. Um, let's go to the market. Sent a cert no, no. It's it's send. So this is my expenditure. Ten, so twenty. 
So 40. Uh -huh. 40, 50, 60. So 60 copper coins for gladiator cells and diet. And then 100 for guard. But that doesn't. Hmm. Um. They wanted me. I'll go to the market, I suppose. The loading screens are, are a bit long. This is the black market where you can trade slaves and items. On the left is a list of goods. Double clicking can quickly purchase the goods. Here you can switch between the four types of merchants in the current market and merchants will renew their goods every once in a while. If you are not satisfied with these goods, you can choose to go to another black market and check the merchants there. No matter how many market you have visited you will spend one day after you go back to your arena is, is there supposed to be a different button there I'm not sure the two buttons on your right can open the slave list and inventories where you can view your positions and choose whether to sell them or not I have some dull swords, a shield, another bow, and a quiver, of course, for the bow. And we got some cute slaves. Now, which one of you looks like you can give a, me a good time? Kelsey. Let's see. Female dwarf. Endurance. Each point increases health by six and two stamina points. Also, point one stamina speed. She is very agile for a very dwarf. She's okay precision, okay intelligence. She is she's a good torture apparently. Lose control chance. I don't. Son of Rock. Health restore increase to while H. <laughs> the HP. I mean, the, the the text is killing me a bit. Um, you get an extra two. What is a bare load penalty? Conceded. So they get really sad if they lose. Jared. Is just a standard human who likes two-handed weapons and he can cook. He has very high endurance and willpower, so he can be a tank. Not Jared honestly isn't that bad. Um oh yeah, what's his he is a quick learner. And but he is rebellious. Live, so the increased. So he is an elf. He has some smartness. Oh, he's he's cruel, fragile, and loyal. What about Leighton? Oh, he's an expensive boy. Some decent agility and stuff, and he's a he's a dull weapon wielder. He's balanced, persevering, and a quick learner. He's level five. Norman, female human. She is a smith. And 
she's a sniper, basically. Um, Kelsey is the dwarf. Um, Forrest is a very, very strong man. With the ability of a cook. Is mm, Dwight has a lot of willpower. Um, he'll never rampage in hand press. Okay, and then there's Udell, who has ten precision. Seven intelligence, he's a okay range, and he also has the medicine skill. He's a son of rock, he has fragile bones, he's ugly. Okay, so I think we should grab. Is it Forest? Yes. I want to grab Forest. Confirm. I'd also like to buy Udell. Okay. We got weapons. Should get some chest armor. Some gauntlets, helmets, two gauntlets, two helmets, and I should grab oh, some leg armor or a skirt. I'm gonna battle skirt. I don't have any more chest armor. I'd have to grab one of those really expensive ones, which I don't want to do. I can do this one for a lot of silver coins. I don't know what the point of food is. And you can gla grab a cloak if you want. With some expensive stuff. I think that's good. I can go back and that'll spend a day. <sighs> One day has passed. I will have to do that. Slave list. Carlson. Here's the detailed information of your gladiator. You can check his equipment, skills, tactics, attributes, status, traits, and careers here. Here you can select the equipment. Right click on the equipment icon to remove it. This is the potential point that the current gladiator has they get five potential points for each level the potential points can be used to improve attributes weapon proficiency and learning skills here's the experience of the current gladiator the experience can be obtained through training and combat click this button to enter the editing you can modify the name and appearance of the gladiator as well obey that's how likely it is to obey me I suppose Damage 22 to 30. Well. And block chance. So. He. He's using. A bastard sword. This is a 
two-handed sword. Um, increases melee damage. Increases stamina points. Okay. Forrest has no weapons anymore. He had a bow. Then he gave it up. He has no... Which one of you guys has the range? My dwarf has the ranged. Um... He has this now. Slave gloves. Well, he's not supposed to get hit anyway. Oh, right, it's Finnick. Horse is the new one. Never mind. He's my. He's my um. My one handed, like, Is dressed okay. Carlson is dressed okay. Sure. Oh, is there there's still points or something? Your traits and disabilities. The doctor can treat disabilities. <laughs> Here's the gladiator's career recording. His battle and life experience. Is there something I forgot to level? Oh, skills! Here is a gladiator skills interface where you browse and learn skills. Left click to learn skills or increase skill level. Right click to decrease. The skills of the square icon are active skills. You will need to use them from the shortcut bar. The diamonds are passive skills. Weapon skills require the corresponding weapon proficiency level to learn as well as stricter weapon requirements. Sharner skills establish the gladiator's fighting style. Uh, and that's what you've learned. Here's the potential point that the current gladiator has. Each skill requires one to learn or upgrade. Click OK to save it. No, it cannot be changed after it is saved. He's using a two-handed weapon. Overwhelming. When get blocked, deal 16% more damage to target stamina. That's good. gonna need be a higher level we'll do that though genre you need the genre first gladiator my guy has the genre of rogue
disappointing. I could save this for now. Um, training grounds. This is a training ground. You can train your gladiators here <laughs> to obtain experience. Um, Instructor slot with the gladiator to act as the instructor. Here's the current. Um, here's the genre training slot where the gladiator you can see and train the genre he's not yet mastered. Genre training requires an instructor to advance and cannot be cancelled once training begins. So I can put my guys in here. Main hall, the gladiator eats, and the chef can cook. This is the chef slot, put the gladiator in the slot to act as the chef. The chef will obtain cooking experience. Uh, you can pl complete better recipes. Here's the current diet information. Click to change the food icon, or use the chef to unlock new stuff. Okay, treatment room. Putting an injured gladiator here will quickly restore health. Assign a gladiator's doctor. The doctor can speed it up. Oh. Let's actually get our gladiators here since they're injured. Torture chamber. Torture them to make them fear and increase their obedience to you. Assigning a warden can increase efficiency. If you buy a slave in a state of resistance, put him in the dark room, and soon you will receive an obedient slave. This is the warden slot. Put him here to serve as a warden. He will get torture experience. The higher the torture level, the greater the obedience obtained by gladiators. Here's the current torture information. This is the torture slot. Put them here to torture them. It will reduce their HP because you're torturing them. This is the smith. You can assign a gladiator to become a blacksmith. The blacksmith can research equipment, recipes, and forge equipment. This is the blacksmith slot. Put a gladiator in the slot to act as a blacksmith. The blacksmith will obtain the experience value of the forge talent. The higher the blacksmith's forging level, the better the equipment can be researched and made. Okay. Does this mean I need to end a day? What is Avata mode? Oh. Is that my guard? I cannot leave. This is kind of janky feeling. Oh! Yeah, cat. Smack me. Why are you standing? Is it, are you, should you be standing like a little further away? He's so cute looking. It kind of makes me sick to look at, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of ugly. Not ugly ugly, it's just kind of, kind of hurts my eyes. I don't know which room that is, I think that's the armory. What is this? The food hall. The gladiator cells. Let me in. This is my poop bucket. My brother. I don't know how to get out of this mode, so that's not good. This is gonna probably... Sleeping on the job, pussies. I'm kidding. I have you done it, dude. Don't worry. Okay. And I assume I'm just gonna have to end it. Let's... Let's see. Okay. I end it, and they're healed.
You really managed to get injured. You really, you really did. I don't, I don't understand how you managed to do it, but okay. Oh, let's just um, look for. This is the arena map. You can also go to nine other arenas, when it means the competition will be held in the arena. You can click to view the information. Uh, the load, it means that competition is being held. You cannot go to the arena to compete or challenge. The arena will hold various competitions from time to time. This option displays the challenge information. Each arena will have a kick house challenge. The challenge represents the highest level of the arena, so will be difficult. They can only proceed during the current free time of the specific arena. However, you can challenge multiple times until you succeed. The current, the story of the current arena. This is the competition information under the current setting. This arena forbid you. I am level one and two. This is level five. This is level four. Um. I'm not sure. I'm going to save and then I'm going to attempt the boar fight. I guess. Um, Finnick is my. It's my archer. Forest is my strong boy. Yeah? Let's go. <laughs> Let's see if we can kill a boar, I guess. This is scary. I can yield. It's us, the big bad Chad crew versus a literal boar. Um. Yeah, we have some heavy loads because we're useless. Carlson? Attack him. Finnick. Please stop walking into the trap. Oh, 
Straße. I do not like the traps in the arena. Well, it looks like a guy managed to survive at least. Uh, slightly wounded, slightly wounded, and finished okay. They made it to level two. Oh dear. A wandering merchant comes to your arena with some slaves that he just bought from a slave hunter. Um. Obedience. They're all obedient. Um. Seven and shield. A good ranged guy. And then there's Haley. Actually, not too bad. It's by Haley. Um, treatment room. Yeah, come here, Forrest. <clears throat> um, this is still Carlson. The engage style determines whether they take an active or passive counterattack after discovering the enemy. The fighting style determines whether the gladiator is aggressive or conservative in battle. The direction of the attack determines how the gladiator will maneuver during the battle. The gladiator will change position during the attack cap and try to talk, ta attack the target from the specified direction. When autocast is turned on, they would automatically release active skills without the player's command. Here you can use triggers. Oh. That's neat. I would like to make him a berserker at some point. Now we got Fennec here. Um, he just leveled up. And he is my like discount archer. Giving him a lot of agility, I assume, will make him shoot his bow faster. Is there an attack speed thing? Oh, attack speed, yeah. 0.7 right now. So he is my rangedy boy. He's going to do that, and what's his thing? He's a berserker. We're gonna have to train these out of you. Okay, and then the other one is Forest. Where's what genre are you? You're dullest. That's honestly okay. It's it's fine for him to be a dullest, to be honest. Um. That didn't. It's gonna need a lot of agility, I guess. Oh, I need you get some shield mastery. 
Weapon. Strike that target with your shield, sir. And then we got a bitch Haley. Um, she is range shield. She can coach and torture. <sighs> I don't have a shield or anything to give her right now. I can just put her in charge of the training room, I guess. Put her as the O instructor. Udell can keep doing this. Um, Finnick can train some more. In the treatment room, we got our two most injured men right there. And we should be able to end today. Udell. Udo has like the worst luck imaginable. Wait, Phoenix actually level 3? Oh. Good. Um, do I have to be level 3 or 4 or 5 or something? I just have to put like... No. I guess I just have not a high enough level. I'm going to end this episode here guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.